can't let that snow fool us. California is still in a severe drought right now. Livecopter 3 flying over some northern California reservoirs today. Look at Folsom. That rain that we got really didn't have much of an impact on the reservoir levels. Some, like Folsom, are now near record lows. In addition to Folsom, we're going to take a look at these water levels in three other reservoirs tonight New Malonis, Don Pedro, and Lake McClure. KCRE 3's Mark Finan joins us right now with a look at the numbers. We'll start with Folsom, Mark. Yeah, well, I'll zoom in on Folsom Lake. We've been watching this one, of course. It should be getting down to a record low sometime in the next few days. Right now, it is at 15% of capacity. A year ago at this time, it was at 31, but it continues to drop rather steadily. And at this this point, it's not a question of if we're going to hit the record, it's when and then how much lower it will end up going uh, as we go through the next few weeks. These early season snowstorms and rainstorms usually don't do much for inflows, so there's no doubt that Folsom is going to continue to pass the record level and continue to drop. Well, let's check out New Malonis because this too is really low. This is the way it looked from uh, Livecopter 3 earlier today, and as you can see, there is a lot of bank there. Keep in mind, New Malonis has a capacity more than twice. That of Folsom Lake, 2.4 million acre feet. How does it stand tonight? It's not good. Right now, it is at just 11% of capacity. Really dry, as you just saw. A year ago, we thought it was bad at 21%. This too will continue to drop. However, this one is unlikely to reach a record. We had a much lower level back in the early 90s. Let's head a little bit farther south and take a look at Don Pedro. Now, this too is a pretty big reservoir, has more than 2 million acre feet of total capacity. Again, more than twice the size of Folsom Lake. And as you can see, there is a lot of bank there, a lot of room to fill. Just how how low is it? Comparatively, it's not quite as bad. It's at 32% of capacity, just a little bit lower than it was a year ago. And of course, this will continue to drop off as well. And just a little bit farther to the south at Lake McClure. This one, too, is in really bad shape. This tends to be a, a much longer, thinner reservoir. It holds a little bit more than a million acre feet. But as you can see, that is a steep drop off. A lot of features coming out of that lake that we don't often see. How low is it? Right now, it stands at just 7% of capacity, much less than 100,000 acre feet of water when it holds over a million. And a year ago, is at about this same range, but it's a little bit lower. So, obviously, we need a big winter to fill all of these reservoirs south of Interstate 80, as well as the other biggies north of Interstate 80, like Oroville and Shasta. I'll let you know.